to the day of Uriel, the archangel God is my light and my fire. Nope, it's not wooden uh, and mercury. It was false gods. Stop worshiping false gods. All right, topic of the message. This topic of the message is going to be quite drastic. Finna go in quite drastic, I think. It's going to probably be a stretch of some of y'all imagination. Uh, it's God been pounding, telling me, Mac, you got to teach this. You got to teach this. And I'm like, God, this is kind of far-fetched to a lot of people. But he said, you got to teach it. And I was like, okay, I got to teach it. And I pray that your uh, imagination can stretch to receive this word. On the topic of this message, it's talking about the reality of the, uh, the reality of the serpent DNA and lamb. DNA, serpent DNA, lamb DNA. Now, here's the thing what you got to understand about what God said in the beginning. That here's, no, let me talk about this first. Um, the church system is not, let me see here, there, it, 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 it operates in a traditional uh, way that, you know, interpreting the Bible from a, a, a traditional way that you don't really see really the logistics of certain things that you need to, you're supposed to come to question to find out about certain things that are going on in the world. Um, thing is, it's a lot of stuff going on that is far out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of far out things going on, like you know about UFOs and all kind of crazy stuff going on. Um, well, the problem is you people, the, the you know, churches operate in a traditional uh, way of teaching and not expanding. And when you're in tradition, you do not expand the viewpoint of what you're looking for to make sense of what's going on around you. Uh, and people get deceived easily that way. But, you know, God showed me to expand my, you know, uh, spectrum of looking at the old, uh, old Testament, or they call we call it the First Testament, and to look at things and make sense of what's going on around you. Now, I'm going to talk about you about serpent DNA. Now, uh, what you don't know concerning about uh, the deception of Adam and Eve that the serpent deceived. Uh, Eve and Eve deceived Adam and you know and then God gave birth to Cain and Cain is the firstborn now what you got to understand I mean about the kingdom game you know that that people are not understanding like you know when Jesus says seek ye first the kingdom of God that idea of seek ye first see is a that a kingdom is about an order and when you get the order, you know what I'm saying, that Satan knows about, you get the order or the firstborn. When you get the firstborn, you can proceed your uh, uh, plan concerning whatever it is to implement concerning that idea. More likely, Satan, you know, in the deception of Adam and Eve, you know, he had more likely first dibs on the firstborn and, and 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 to whatever he desires to want to do to that person and as we know that Cain you know killed his brother Abel and you know and God marked God marked him and sent him off to the place called no kind of like I look at it or they call it nod or no but no you shouldn't have did that you know killed your brother but anyway, but through Cain, you know what I'm saying, Satan established, not just, you know, Satan established a bloodline, you know, concerning his bloodline through Cain.
that you don't know about that is a bloodline that's been all throughout human history that, you know, is uh, it's unfortunately in everybody. It's in a lot of people. Um, it's in majority a lot of people. But a amount is a certain amount of this bloodline is inside of every human being. Unfortunately, because you know, Cain, you know, produced reproduction, you know, all that kind of stuff. But uh, you know, through human history, and it proceeded, you know, uh, a serpent bloodline. Now, um, you, I hope you know about uh, the um. The children, I mean, the, the tribe of Dan in the tribe of uh, uh, Israel is the tribe of Dan. And um, uh, let me see, Jacob prophesied in Genesis, uh, the fifth, the fiftieth chapter that, you know, the blessings to everybody. And, and he, you know, prophesied to Dan. He said, Dan will be a serpent in Adam. You know what I'm saying? And people, you know, like, look at that, okay, serpent, adder, hmm, what that's talking about. See, but what you don't understand about that is talking about a serpent DNA, serpent bloodline, you know what I'm saying, that is in this world that people need to understand and be well aware of this bloodline, as God is trying to tell me, um, that you don't realize is going on. Now, the thing is, if you look in, in human history and civilizations before, you see worshiping of serpents. You know what I'm saying? Worshiping, something consists of a serpent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like you see in Mayas, you know, they got the snake, you know, stuff going on in India. They got the snake thing going on and snake thing, serpent, snakes in uh, China is everywhere. Uh, yes, there is a serpent bloodline in everybody. It's in everybody. Uh, uh, you know, it's in me, it's in everybody. But God taught one of me to teach, uh, make you get an understanding of this uh, bloodline. But the thing is, that's why, of course, the Lamb, Jesus Christ, came to, and, and God told me that sin is 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 the ideal of the serpent bloodline that it is all about corrupting you know what's God is all about corrupting you inside because Satan what Satan the whole agenda is now because he has his bloodline with inside a lot of people he's trying to ignite that bloodline he's trying to get that bloodline to uh 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 well, take over you so he can control you. And the thing is, this bloodline, you know, is a, a certain. Now, here's the thing what you got to understand about. There are certain people that has a strong serpent bloodline inside them. they born with it. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, but that doesn't make them an evil person. You know what I'm saying? Because they got a, a serpent bloodline inside them. It doesn't make them an evil person. Like God, whoever God creates, all God's creation always has a conscience to do whether it was good and evil. But what it does, it makes the person more acceptable of doing evil. They're acceptable of doing uh, things that will corrupt themselves. You know what I'm saying? Doing corrupted things. You know, a lot of stuff like, you know, you know, you heard about cannibalism and all kind of crazy stuff. Uh, drinking urine, eating mess is all kind of corrupted things, you know, that, you know, you have to do to ignite this uh, serpent, you know, uh, you know, uh, DNA with inside you. Now, the thing is, of course, like I'm saying about Jesus Christ came and died on the cross to the lamb DNA that we we can take that lamb DNA and cleanse us from the serpent, you know, DNA that's inside of us. But, you know, of course, as you know about what uh, going on in the world and these people in our country that 
uh, these, you know, in these elitists or uh, Illuminati and all kind of people, uh, these people all about, you know, obtaining, making, uh, all about the agenda of waking up that serpent bloodline, that serpent DNA in people to influence the world to do corrupted stuff that, you know, that they say that, you know, they were trying to get you into a higher conscience. No, they're not trying to get you to a higher conscience. They're trying to wake up this serpent. Now, I, I, I know uh, now as you, you look at the uh, m lamps, they have a sign of a serpent going around a, 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 a staff or something like that. Well, that sign is an evil sign. You know what I'm saying? It's really evil. You know, that serpent sign is the ideal of what Satan is trying to do with people. Now, as you know about the Egyptians, you see how they're all about serpents. You know, when you see their um, uh, 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 the artifacts, you know, uh, the, the archaeologists take pictures of their stuff in them, their wall, you know, hier hieroglyphs. That you see that they're so much all about engaging into the serpent and stuff like that. And see, and that's what their the, the whole idea of this system that's in this world is trying to get people to develop to, to develop the serpent bloodline that is inside of them, that it can grow inside of them and you know pretty much uh swirl around your you know spinal cord. You know, your, you know, your spinal cord has 33 bones. And it's the whole idea of what they're trying to do is trying to get a serpent to swirl around you, you know, pretty much corrupt your life, I mean, corrupt you inside. To get, This is a spiritual, though. This is a spiritual thing. You know, to get this spiritual, this serpent to come around your spinal cord that it will go all the way around your neck and then it comes inside of your head and it will... You know, make and turn you into uh, more likely you will become more stronger as you become have a serpent. You be start looking like a serpent. It's that's crazy. Um, yes, and it's and something that proceed in the spirit comes natural, and a lot of people are these people are elites and stuff like that are trying to keep this serpent bloodline or develop a serpent bloodline inside of every human being. That's the number one agenda of Satan's agenda that I'm giving you. Um, and But the thing is, Jesus Christ come to, you know, bring his blood to cleanse us from that, that we can become made in the image and the likeness of God. Now, understand about, of course, Hollywood and entertainment industry they're all about corrupting you to make sure they can wake this serpent, you know, uh, DNA inside your body all the way established, all the way from Cain. You know what I'm saying? That is going on. But the thing is, if you seek after the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and cleanse yourself, that's why we need to get cleansed from our sins. That's why we got to read the word, apply the word, watch the word from this, you know, uh, serpent DNA that is inside of us because it's inherited to people. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a horrible, terrible situation, really, concerning a lot of people that are not aware of this. And the thing is, it's it's real. And certain people can testify and know about this stuff is real. What I'm giving you, it is maybe far fetched to you, but it's real. And the thing is, you know, I'm just. The, the solution to the kingdom of God. Now, people that have this stuff, you know, like, you know, develop this, you know, serpent stuff. They're not all, of, what it's all about is control. They don't have no special powers or something, but some can get special power. But majority don't have these special powers. But really what's the power is that Satan control you and take, oh, take give, use you for his, you know, of course, his kingdom agenda, uh, Sending people to hell. <laughs> That's Satan's agenda. I mean, but these people are not evil, but they're practicing evil and they're becoming evil and they're becoming controlled by Satan. So I encourage you to just shine the light of Jesus Christ to help them. All right. That's the message to God. Be glory here forever. In Jesus name. Amen.